thank you for coming over today for your wedding dress design and body measurement. How are you feeling today? Great, great. Well, I'm sure you're all excited. Yeah. Thank you for contacting me. And I know I have a few brief details about your requirements, but we'll go in to that a little bit more in detail. But that's okay. Yeah, so are you comfortable there? Good. So how are your plans going? Brilliant. There's such a lot to do, isn't there? Yeah. But we're here to get the ball rolling to get you your perfect wedding dress. So first thing. I'm going to take a few details as to your requirements and let me just put today's date on there. So just tell me the date of your wedding, okay. All right. And is it just yourself that I'm going to be making an outfit for? Okay, so it's just you. You're not having bridesmaids, no? Okay. Alright. So. Right then. So, do you have an idea on the length of the dress that you'd like? Would you like a full length dress or something a little bit shorter? You like full length, okay, right. Okay. And neckline, do you want a more of a body style or something that's pull up to the neckline or a v-neck? Okay, so you're not entirely sure but you don't want a, a bodice, okay, that's fine. All right, and you prefer something that's more flowing or something that's more fitted to your shape? Okay, that's fine. Well, of course, there are different body shapes and not everything suits everybody. There's no right or wrong body shape, but some things will look better on certain shapes than others. So I can always guide you there, but if you're more comfortable with something that from the hip flows, that's fine. So you can have something that's slightly fitted down to the waistline and then just starts to flow out. Yes. Okay, that's great. And do you think you'd like something that's plain or has embroidery or embellishments on? Quite plain, okay. Okay. And you'd quite like a sash, yeah? Round round your waistband. Okay. Okay, you can put that. Right. And with your wedding being sort of late autumn, do you think you'll like a shrug or a little jacket to go with it or are you just going to keep it as it is okay that's fine all right do you know if you're going to be wearing a veil just a tiara okay that's fine we've got that already you are organized okay and what are your chosen colours for your wedding? You're having lilacs and purples, oh beautiful, my favourite colours. Okay. And do you think you'd like any of those colours on your dress? Maybe a little, okay. Or we could do the sash in a lilac or purple. Yeah, okay. 
I can get any colours, so that's fine. Okay. And do you have an idea of what colour dress you would like? Are you going to go for a traditional white or ivory? Some people tend to go for a little more of a creamy peachy tone sometimes. You quite like ivory, do you? Okay. That seems to be a very popular choice now. Okay. You may or may not have had a think about fabrics. Yeah, that's fine. I've got um, some swatches that I've prepared for you. And we'll go through those in a second. So is there anything else about your dress that you'd like to discuss with me? Okay, so you want to make sure that there's no metal touching your skin like zips. Okay, so that'll all be enclosed. You get allergy, okay, yeah. We can sort that out. There's different ways we can fasten the dress anyway. And it would all be hidden, so no one would be looking at fasteners or zips. Okay. Okay, so how this works. I will go through some fabric swatches with you, let you have a look at those while I'm drawing a couple of designs for you, okay? And you're welcome to take these swatches home with you to have a look at. I'm not expecting any decisions today, okay, on what types of fabric. Um, there may not be everything here that you want. We can discuss anything further, okay, if you want something different to what I'm showing you today. And also, what I'm showing you is available in many different colours if you do decide to change your mind on colours. Um, these are predominantly ivory or white here. Okay. So, and I'll also measure you, okay, to get an idea of the size. And then also, um, I will then go away and make up a pattern for your dress and make up a mock-up. Now the mock-up will be made out of all sorts of fabric. It won't be made out of your final fabric, okay? But it's just to give you an idea. And then when we're happy with what we've got, next time I see you, obviously I can start to make the dress out of the fabric of your choice. We've got plenty of time yet, so there's no rush anyway. I won't even start making the dress um, for several months yet anyway, so. Okay, so firstly I'll show you the fabric swatches that I've prepared for you. So I've got an array of cards and just different popular fabrics. Okay, this one is quite a heavy duchess satin and this one is ivory okay. and this one is a lighter weight satin it's quite smooth but it's not quite as thick as the first one and here we have a lace. It's very pretty. Some people just like a little bit of lace on their dress. Okay, and this one is a very silky satin. It's not so thick. And it's got a more shiny finish. 
and this is a chiffon material which sometimes is used over the fabric to make a gathering or can be used in its entirety with a lining to make the skirt or something like that. Some people like that. Obviously this is very light. And this one is a pure silk, okay, again that's quite shiny, it's not always the best choice, it increases quite easily there, but it's pure silk, and I have another lace, a more ivory lace there okay. again nice for some people they like just a little bit on their dress okay so the next thing I need to do is get you measured and then you can have a browse through these while I'm drawing some ideas is that okay? Great, will you just relax and I'll just get my tape measure ready, okay? Okay, so I've got my tape measure and I just need to take a few little measurements. Let me just write these down. Firstly, I'm just going to do your shoulder to your waist, okay? Okay. And just cross your shoulder. Do an all the way around measurement again. Okay. Okay. That's great. And from your waist to the floor. Straighten there we go. Thank you. Okay, that's good. And just in a round the waist measurement. Okay. Just do another chest measurement. Can you just lift your arms up slightly? Thank you. That's great. Okay. Right. Just in case you change your mind about jacket, I'll just do your arm length if you'd like to put your arms out for me. Okay. 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 That's your left arm and your right arm. And 
I'll just do a hip measurement too. We'll check this. Okay. Let me just do one more measurement across your chest. So I'm thinking, well I've got a couple of ideas, um, based on what you've told me and I'm thinking it's going to look really nice on you if you definitely have that sash around the middle. I think that's going to be a really nice idea for your shape because you've got a nice curvy shape and I think that's just going to look really nice just sitting on your waistline, yeah. Right, so let's just get going. Don't mind me while I just have a sketch. I've been doing this a long time. Hmm. And the beauty of anything that I draw is that you can sort of chop and change things if you like the top of one thing um, but prefer the bottom half of something else, you can do that. Okay. So how many people are you going to be having at your ceremony? Family and friends, that's nice. Well, I always say you have the wedding day that you want, not what you think people want you to have. So if that's what suits you, then that's perfect, isn't it? And that's that one. Okay, just finish this one. So, is there anything there out of the samples that you're liking? You're liking the heavy Duchess satin. It's nice to work with too. It hangs really nicely because it's got that little bit of weight in it. Okay. So that's one. And I'm just going to draw a second one now, which is a slightly different neckline um, and design. But I think this would look lovely on you, but obviously you make the choice and we can come back and design some more if you're not happy with these and take them away and show them to your friends or something else for their opinion too. So where are you getting married? Oh, it's lovely. 
lovely there. I've done a few dresses for people, well even gents' outfits as well, um, that have got married there and they've shown me the photographs afterwards. Because I do say if you could send me some photographs from my portfolio, I'm always grateful for that. When you've had your wedding photos, just so I can show people my work and designs. But it's such a lovely place, that is. Yeah. I'm just going to... Put some... What would be... Either little beads... Or stones... Of course you can have this plain as well, this is just an idea. So you're thinking an ivory satin with a lilac coloured sash, that would be beautiful. And I've also got some little beads I can show you which I could put on somewhere onto your dress, either on the neckline or make a little pattern for you. These are a couple of quick designs. So I'll show you the beads. They come in this beautiful little box and I've got lots of other colours as well. But Here I've got the greeny colour and there's the classic sort of white pearly colour. There's pink, the peachy colour, uh, silver and there's like a metallic apricotty colour there. And here we go, these are lilac coloured. And as you can see, they are just lovely little lilac coloured beads. Do you like those? Okay, I think they're really pretty. I mean, you can have a couple of colours if you like, but um, I do have these in a darker purple colour too. If you just like those then we can get a sash colour to match to go around your waist. Yeah. Okay well that's something we can look at. I'll make a note of that. Okay. So I'll just pop those away. And then I can show you your design. Yeah, do you like that? Okay. There, that's those. Right, are you ready? Okay. So, the first design was this. This has a V-neck, but of course we could change this, and then just comes down to the waist, and there's the sash, which you say you'd like in the lilac, and then it just flows to a fishtail hem, it's a really beautiful fishtail hem there, okay. And at the back, can you see it's just got a 
band there and it just comes down there to the waist and that's the rear of the dress and the fishtail pattern so do you like that? yeah? As I said, there's other things we can discuss and we can chop and change, mix and match. And this is the second one that I think would look lovely on you. And it's this lovely halter type neckline. And there uh, you can see is where I've Potentially some beads or embellishments there. Yeah. And that just comes in to the waist where you've got your waistband sash. Now, this could be um, just a band where you can have it so it, I can make it so it sort of wraps over at the back and then hangs down. So you've got two pieces of the sash ribbon there as well. Yeah. So you'd have your beaded neck and armhole panels and I've drawn um, a gathered panel on the centre back on this. Can you see that there? But you don't have to have that, you could just have it plain. I would probably do that in like a chiffon panel, but that's not necessary if you don't like that. So again, this one I think would be more flowing, so from the waist it would just flow gently down and just sit just above the ground, be really, really pretty. Okay, so would you like to look at that one? You prefer this one? Yeah, but perhaps without the, the back. So any other ideas that you'd like to share with me? See, I can see you're wearing a neckline that's similar to that today. And it really suits you. And I think because you didn't want anything low and I think that would be really ideal. Yeah. Okay. Well, I'll leave these designs with you anyway, and you can have a look at them. You can call me if you want to go ahead with anything, or you'd like me to design some more. And I'll come see you again soon, whenever you're ready, and we'll move on to the next stage. I mean, if you call me and say, design number two is what I like, but without the panel or you want something to do with the sash or different different beads or embellishments that's fine um i can get on and make a pattern for that yeah and then as i said earlier we'd make a mock-up and we would try that on and see how we go and then we'd put that from there and then we would make the final dress okay well I'll leave these with you and have a think about those beads. Do you want to see them again? Sure. There we go. There they are. They're super pretty. So, I can leave some with you if you want to have a look at them. Yeah. Okay. I'll put some with your drawing. And with your swatches, okay. put those over there. So those are your designs, okay? And you can keep those swatches as well. You're thinking about the satin, the heavy duchess satin, okay? Well, I'll leave all those with you. And there's 
some beads for you to look at. And how about um, you give me a call in a few days time and let me know what you're thinking, whether you want me to draw more things or whether there's something here that you're happy for me to go ahead with. And then we'll take it from there. Okay. Well, it's been lovely seeing you today. Thank you for coming over. And I look forward to hearing from you and seeing you again very soon. Okay. Take care now.